Hi everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Dee Dee Moore. EFT, the number four benzo recovery. Today we're tapping on symptoms. Remember, anytime you tap with me, you're agreeing to my disclaimer that I haven't made any promises and that you are responsible for you. There's literally dozens, if not more, uh, different symptoms that people experience um, on this journey. And so I'm using the global term, these symptoms, rather than naming each one of them specifically, because for one thing is it's very rare for somebody to have just one of the symptoms. Many times people have many together. Um, personally, I had at least 70 at one point. And so you can imagine if I were to go and tap on each specific symptom, let's just say there was a video. I mean, I don't, I don't want to sit here for 70 different videos, right? So it's really um, not beneficial when it comes to that. The other reason is because when we keep naming our symptoms and saying the word, um, it's, it's giving it power. We're giving our energy towards something that we don't want to give it to okay so we want to reduce our stress we don't want to increase our stress and sometimes just giving the name of the symptom that that power is giving the energy towards stress okay so we just want to tap and even day-to-day -day conversations i know that you have such a huge um need like this 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 primal need to be validated and understood and so you're constantly explaining and trying to name and trying to be understood and validated i get that um but i just want you to be open to the possibility that a lot of that effort is actually kind of working uh not in your favor okay so we're just going to use the term these symptoms so, so no matter what symptoms you have we're just going to put it under that big umbrella, okay? Now, there's no magic uh, cure or eraser for all of your symptoms, and I'm definitely not claiming that EFT is one of them, but it can I've seen it every day in my practice and with myself, it can reduce it. So maybe if on a scale from 0 to 10, let's say hypothetically you're experiencing some kind of pain, you know, it, it's not going to get you from a 10 to a zero. It can, but likely it won't. Um, but it can get you to from a 10 to an eight or from a 10 to a six. You know, any little bit helps. Not only that, just addressing how you feel because the energy is in our emotions. Just, just to be able to really acknowledge and validate and tap on how you feel about the symptom is super powerful so don't underestimate the power of EFT on this journey okay all right so go ahead and take a drink of water it's always good to drink water to help that energy move before during and after any tapping okay and then just tune into just put your hands on your heart and just tune into the symptoms and all of your feelings about it I want you to just, you know, notice and, and be open to the possibility that you can handle this. You can handle whatever symptom it is. You handled it yesterday. You can handle it today. I know it's hard. You can handle your feelings about it, even if they're intense, okay? And then just give it a number between 0 and 10. You can give the whole thing a number, or you can give the symptoms uh, separate from the emotions. So, for example, I have this headache and etc and that's a 10 and then I have all this fear and worry about the symptoms and that's a 10 okay so you want to give it a number because that's how you're going to be reassured that the tapping is indeed effective okay so you go to karate chop on the side of your hand and you take a deep slow breath we don't breathe enough and then fully, fully exhale, even making a sound. <sighs> even though I have these symptoms, it's safe for me to acknowledge them. Even though I have these symptoms and all of this fear 
about these symptoms. It's safe for me to acknowledge my feelings. Even though I have these symptoms, so sorry about that. I don't have time to start over. Even though I have these symptoms, and scary is an understatement. I'm right here, right now, and I'm safe. Top of your head, you're just tapping around the top of your head. All these crazy symptoms. Eyebrow. I acknowledge and I validate. Side of your eye. This is extraordinary. Under your eye. This is crazy. All these symptoms. Chen. Some of them are really intense. Collarbone. It even makes me think that it's more than withdrawal. Top of your head, deep, slow breath. <sighs> all these symptoms. Eyebrow. And all of my feelings about these symptoms. Side of your eye. It's safe for me to acknowledge them. Under your eye. I acknowledge the fear. I acknowledge the worry. I acknowledge the panic. I acknowledge the confusion. Remember, it's always okay to trade hands. Top of your head, take a breath. It's so confusing. Eyebrow, is this really just withdrawal? Should I go to the doctor? Is there something I should do? It's so confusing. It's so confusing. Collarbone. It's so confusing. Top of your head, deep, slow breath. <sighs> All of these symptoms. I acknowledge and validate these symptoms. They're real under your eye, and all of my feelings about them are real under your nose. All the sadness, chin, all the sadness. I'm so sad I'm going through this right now. And remember, whenever I mention a, an emotion or anything when I'm tapping. You can always, when you repeat after me, you can always personalize it more to you, okay? Top of your head, deep slow breath. <sighs> all these symptoms. Eyebrow and all of my feelings about these symptoms. Side of your eye. I'm taking a moment to just really acknowledge them under your eye. I don't have to run away from them. I don't have to try to hide from them. Chin, that doesn't work. Collarbone, so I'm acknowledging them. Top of your head, I'm acknowledging my symptoms. I'm acknowledging my feelings. I'm acknowledging my symptoms. I'm acknowledging my feelings. I am validating my symptoms. Chen, I am validating my feelings. Collarbone, my feelings always matter. Let's take, a, take a little second here. Take a deep, slow breath. I give it all permission to flow. Eyebrow. I give it all permission to go. Side of your eye. 
I want to feel safe under your eye. I want to feel hopeful under your nose. I want to feel calm. Chin. I want to feel safe. Collarbone. I want to feel hopeful. Top of your head. I want to feel calm. Eyebrow. Calm. I send the power of this word to every cell in my body. Under your eye, calm. Under your nose, calm. Chin, calm. Collarbone, calm. Top of your head, deep, slow breath. I want to feel relaxed. Eyebrow, even if I have resistance to that. Side of your eye. I send the power of this word to every cell in my body. Under your eye, relax. Under your nose, I give my mind permission to relax. I give my body permission to relax. Collarbone. I give my spirit permission to relax. Hands on your heart. Picture relaxing energy entering into your heart as you inhale. Fully, fully, fully exhale. Okay.